Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a Kenmore Whirlpool design, basically Kenmore Whirlpool. This is what they call a direct drive model. So this this one, uh, they actually Whirlpool actually sold this design out to Maytag as well. So you may find at Maytag with the same direct drive. Uh, chassis on it. So basically, what we, on this one, you hear a clunk when it stops. So at the end of the cycle, basically, you'll hear a clunk, kind of a something like that. And so that basically means you have a stuck brake. Your brake is sticky, basically. Um, so basically, it's grabbing too soon. And sooner or later, if you keep running it with this. With these clunks, it will uh, break the drive coupler. And so I'm going to show you how to prevent your uh, drive coupler from breaking on this particular model. And so, and then also this action here, it should, this is normal, this is normal action here. Some people think, oh, that's too loose, but this is actually normal action. And as well, this is the agitator. It should spin this way when you turn it. The bottom part should spin when you turn it. And the bottom part should turn when you turn it clockwise. So if you turn it this way and only the top spins, that means your agitator dogs underneath here are bad. So this is normal, it should spin this way, and then should also grab the bottom part when you spin counterclockwise. If it doesn't grab the bottom part, the agitator dogs inside the agitator are bad. And so let's take a look at underneath of it. So I'm going to just tip it on its back. Okay, so we got this puppy on our back, on its back now. So, it's actually not a very good idea to stick it on its back for very long. This side is the better side to lay it on. Um, the reason why is there's a weep hole on the top of this inside. If you lay it on that side, it'll weep out the weep hole. Eventually, it'll start to leak oil out of the transmission. So what we're going to look at is the brake. So you can see down here that yellow yellow spring. And yeah, so that yellow spring is what we're going to lube. So you take an oiler, some sort of oiler. I have to zoom oiler. I lost the end of it, but it's still going to work for me. You can take like WD-40 with a s nozzle on it. Basically what you want to do is just put a couple of drops of oil inside this, this bell here. You have to be careful not to get any near this silver thing. You want to make sure and get it on the outside of this bell here by that spring. And just put a couple of drops of oil in there. And what that'll do, because that's the brake right there. This is the brake. That spring has the, like these brake shoes here. And that brake shoe sometimes will grab excessively and cause the uh, machine to stop abruptly. And eventually it will put pressure on your drive coupler, which is right here. And this is your drive coupler. This one is intact. You can see as I turn this that both halves of the drive couple are moving and the shaft on the motor is moving as well and so essentially you can check it here as well spin it a few times I think this is spin this direction is spin it should grab eventually and start to spin the barrel um, it's either either or one way or the other 
You should see a spin action happening on the barrel eventually. This may be the agitation. So that's counterclockwise. That may be the agitation direction. And, but, and then the other direction would be the spin direction. Um, and then also, if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And if you have any questions, you can call me at 707-445-1591. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.